There you go, folks. This is Zoltan from New Generation Hobbies. And because we have beautiful winter out there, I put on my beautiful NG Hobbies Took. You see? NG Hobbies Took. NG Hobbies T-shirt. NG Hobbies, uh, what's this, hoodie with a zipper. I love this. NG Hobbies. All NG Hobbies Took. You come into NG Hobbies and I like you, I might give you a Took for free. I'm just horsing around a little bit here. <laughs> but come on and check into NG Hobbies because you might get a took for free. This is perfect for winter, you see, it's beautiful. Anyway, we're gonna do a live video today to, how do I turn this camera around? Like that. Because I've just got in the drone training system from Fetchark and we are going to open this box. But before I go there, let me just turn on the uh, YouTube live I have another camera on the other side and that is YouTube live and we're gonna go live on YouTube as well um, let me just go next here <clears throat> three two one go all right there we go so go live go live there we go so we are live on Facebook and we are live on YouTube as well um, why did this lock? Okay. And the title of today's video is that What's in the box? Fat Shark 101. We just got the Fat Shark 101 boxes in uh, about half an hour ago. And uh, I'm planning to open this. I know that we don't usually do a standard unboxing video. I'm not the standard unboxing guy like all the unboxing guys out there. Everybody's doing unboxing videos on and unboxing everything. I'm not unboxing, I'm just showing you what's inside of the box. Is that the same, really? Anyway, maybe I'm just talking too much. So let's open it, but before we open it, let me see what's on the back. On the back, it shows us a beautiful little Sharky drone, a professional grade controller. It says a simple immersive FPV goggles. By the way, these goggles, half of them were developed in Canada. So you guys look at that like that. There is a warning. Um, rotating parts must may cause injury, blah, blah, blah. Lots of things. Let's see what's inside. All right, so inside there is a user manual. Look at this, beautiful printed user manual. I'll show it to my uh, YouTube viewers as well on the other side to my Facebook viewers. And uh, five of them, six of them. Thanks for watching, guys. So beautiful Fat Shark 101 manual. Look at that. Never seen something like this before, but beautiful printed manual. It actually gives us a quick turnaround on how to operate the drones, what the flight controls are, what the pitches, expected limits, how to fly, there are pro tips, and so on. Beautiful manual. Good job, Fat Shark. Um, next, you open the box, there is a plastic, what was that, of wrapping? Put it aside. Fat Shark sticker. Got a Fat Shark sticker, like that. With a brand new Fat Shark logo. You see, this is the new Fat Shark logo. So if you guys have not seen this or not noticed this, the Fat Shark logo and type were, were type changed. So this is the fat new Fat Shark logo. And what happened to my camera there jeez this is all green it's like something happened i might have to turn off my youtube live but facebook live is still going on youtube live i think the camera got screwed up here huh let me turn that off all right turn that off and there you go and now decide what to do with that later on Going forward, we have a cleaning cloth, right? We have a charging cable for the batteries. There you go. We have a set of extra propellers and uh, propeller guards. I think actually motor guards with two extra motors. We have an antenna, a rubber duck antenna, 5.8 gigahertz for the receiver and we have a USB cable 
which is a micro USB or USB-C. I can't tell you from here, but it looks like a micro USB. This is for charging the goggles. The goggles inside of the box are the so-called Ricon goggles. They have a set of channel up, channel down. You also can switch uh, bends up and bends down if you hold it down for about two seconds. Uh, there is a nice menu inside if you use uh, the up and down button on there and the battery compartment on the bottom and I think it comes with a pre-installed uh, 18650 battery, right? If you grab those things out, you can power it on. Um, to power on the goggles, you just slide this switch here. All right, other than that, there is a Fat Shark quality sticker and some real nice flies that tested by Jerome. Oh, these are really nice cards. They're like strong plastic. Oh, you can probably throw them away or something. <laughs> anyway, beside that, next step, let me just move this camera around as my uh, YouTube Live is not working for some reason. We have two fetch our gates. You see? These are really interesting because you just take the thing out from there and they pop up and they're gonna be a big gate like that. You see, quite, there are quite a few here in my, around my shop. Big gates like that. So there are two gates inside of this package. And then there is the Sharky drone. And this is the first time I real see, see a real Sharky drone, which is the production version, right? Lots of people were complaining about they don't like the fins, they don't like the shape, they don't like this, they don't like that. Go and fly, people! And after you flew it, then after that, complain if you don't like it. I flew these things a few times, and it flies amazing. It can do rolls and loops and everything, but uh, the real thing can do. And it runs on a two-cell battery. Look at that. On the bottom, there is a two-cell battery. It's a balancing lead connector. And then... Uh, that's how you're gonna fly this. Now, we have two batteries inside and they have this battery casing on it as well. So you can just slide it onto the bottom and it sits there. Um, charging with a USB cable to the port, it plugs in directly here. You can make up a, on, your own cable and uh, you can charge it through that. Now, we also have the Fat Shark remote control, which is let me tell you, it's a little amazing thing. Tiny, like this. It runs on four AA batteries. I see that they included the AA batteries in the box as well. You see the AA batteries are there. And um, it's a fun way to plug them in or to put them in. It's not so easy. I tried this once already. But once you get it in, then it's going to work interestingly. Now... The gimbals are not toy grade. The gimbals on these things are almost professional grade. And it has two switches. It's a six channel radio. This is a three position switch on this side. And that is a two position. Actually, that is a three position switch as well. And then we have a power button on the bottom, right? Obviously, we have to read the manual on how to bind this with uh, uh, things. I think it comes pre-bound with, uh, with the Sharky quad. But if you want to bind it up to something else and fly something else with this remote, you can do that. This is a FlySky compatible, compatible remote, so it uses FlySky protocol. You just need to get a FlySky receiver and you can bind it up to your uh, uh, other quads. What I've seen this have drive, um, a Vortex 150 flies amazingly with this thing and a Vortex 180. We actually tried that, we put it up, bound it up. And we also bound it to a Vortex 250 with a 3D camera on it. And it was just flying amazingly. So it's a fully capable little remote, a single model one. So every time you use it to different model, you have to bind it up. But at that point, this is just something which you can carry around. It's not a big thing like a Taranis. And it has a USB port on the bottom, which... I'm not sure what it is used for, but probably probably, uh, probably, it has its own value. All right, folks, that is from my end. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick presentation. And uh, Fat Shark 101, 
is the new drone training system. Hopefully you're gonna get yours, so you're gonna get this to a nephew or somebody in your family who wants to get into drone racing because for the value, this is an excellent package. And one thing I need to add to the goggles. I had several people who walked into the store here and I showed these goggles to them and they usually wear glasses. In order to use other goggles, they have to put in lens inserts. Now, when they put this one on, they almost all of a sudden, they saw everything clearly. I'm not saying that this has some built-in magic uh, lenses or something. No, it's just the lens is formulated in such a way that some people with certain uh, uh, glasses, they don't require lens insert for these goggles. And uh, with that, I wish you guys a beautiful uh, Friday afternoon and from New Generation Hobbies. And I'll catch you later on a different video.